Come on, baby. <laughs> Check one two, check one two. What is up, guys? You're with boy Kagi back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I bring you D Race. D Race is a virtual horse racing simulator. You get to breed your horses, you get to race your horses, you get to trade your horses. Another cool feature is that you can also own your stadium. So other jockeys can race on your stadium and you get rewarded in DRC token, which is the token that powers this horse racing simulator metaverse. Now, this overview is sponsored by D Race. Let's jump right into the overview. First things first, this game is on the Polygon Network. If you want to get a horse, you would go to OpenSea. I'm going to leave the link down below. And the cheapest horse right now is going for $37. You will also need a little bit of D-Race tokens to enter races. If you win the races, then of course you get rewarded in D-Race tokens. And then of course you can cash it out and swap it for USDC or Ethereum or whatever you want. Now the best place to get the D-Race tokens would be on QuickSwap on the Polygon Network. You would go from Matic to DRC or from USDC or Ethereum to DRC. If you guys want to get it on an exchange you can also go to kucoin you can also go to crypto.com also go to coinx and gate.io now once you have your horses once you have a little bit of d-race you want to go ahead and connect your wallet up here you got to go to wallet and you're going to deposit your d-race you're going to deposit your items which is your horses as well and the reason you want to do that is because you don't want to be signing transactions every time you go into a race every time you have to breed or every time you have to do anything inside the ecosystem once you're done if you need to withdraw your horses if you need to withdraw Withdraw some of your tokens then you can go ahead to the wallet and you can go on withdraw all right so let's keep it basic for now let's go into some races and then we'll go into some of the breeding and also some of the equipment that you can put on your horses for now let's keep it simple let's go to races let's see what races are available right now you can choose any of these races you got different surfaces you have you got different stadiums you got different distances you got different entry fees so something you want to do at the beginning is just race your horses to understand what kind of turf what kind of distance those horses are doing better on once you have that data then you can strategically put your horses on the right tracks so that you have the higher chance of winning in those races for the purpose of this video i'm gonna go ahead and join this race this is 2drc i'm gonna go ahead and register right here i'm gonna register two horses i'm cool once you enter the event a few minutes are gonna pass a race is gonna happen and you're gonna go to show my results and you're going to see if your horses won. As you can see, one of my horses right here got second place. So I got 7.2 DRC and it cost me 2 DERC to enter the race. So I actually made some profit there. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and watch the 3D replay. Once you hit the 3D, you can see your races live basically. And you're going to be able to change cameras as the race is going on. So you go up here and you can switch cameras around boom 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 mine is droma so i'm gonna target droma right here so i'm always looking at droma bam 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 banger 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 <laughs> come on baby <laughs> come on come on baby come on here we go 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 come on second place bam now we get the slow-mo so you can see exactly what happened there. Bam. There you go, baby. So this is really important. Go to your profile and go to your horses. Something very, very important is to look at the racing history. At the beginning, you don't want to worry about it too much. Just kind of race everywhere. Just kind of test your horse in every ground, every turf, every distance. And once you have enough data, maybe like 20 races, 30 races, then you can start seeing um, the pattern of your horse. And with this info, you can go into races with more strategy. Now, something I've seen in other games similar to this one is community-made websites where they put all the data together and you get to see see your horse you get to see your animal and see what races are better for this animal so as you can see community made websites are going to happen very soon for this game and people are going to be able to see their stats put together so this is going to help a lot into understanding what kind of horse you have so let's do a quick dive into breeding breeding is pretty simple it's pretty similar to other games that have breeding mechanics so you're going to go ahead into your horses right here once you deposit them and you're going to hit that love button right here as of right now, none of my horses can breed. This one is too young to breed, and this one is too young to breed. So you're going to need horses that have the ability to breed as of right now. And you're also going to need a liquid love potion. Now, the good news is that you can go to NFT horses right here, and you can actually rent a horse from somebody else to breed. So because I don't have a horse to breed with, I can go ahead and choose a mare right here. I went to filters, put mare, bam, filter. 
bam bim bam boom i'm gonna go lowest to high lowest price perfect i'm gonna choose this one right here i'm gonna hit the love button rent to breed i'm gonna actually confirm this transaction so there you go it's gonna cost me one liquid love potion it's gonna cost me a renting price of 25 erc so that's like four dollars right now and it's also going to cost me 50 drc which is the base system fee for you to breed so that is going to be around 12 dollars plus the love potion which is something like 15 dollars so there you go it's gonna cost me like 30 dollars so confirm breeding successful new horse will appear shortly so this potion you can also get it right here on open sea now breeding takes up to 10 minutes and after it ends the horse breeding cooldown will start each horse has a different cooldown time which is a hidden property so you will not know how much the cooldown will be you kind of have to wait for it it can vary between two weeks and two months so this is kind of a mechanic so that people don't go ahead and kind of, um, you know, breed like crazy and they, they time it and they flood the market. This is actually a really good mechanic for breeding. Something important to keep in mind, your two horses need to be one is a mare and another one a stallion. So as you can see, if I go to my horses, I have a stallion. So I would be able to pair it with a mare right here. Obviously, this mare cannot breed as of right now. And something also important is that your horse needs to be on a breeding cooldown equal to zero. So breeding cooldown equal to zero for you to be able to breed. All right, so the last thing we're going to talk about is achievement and missions. This is going to earn you sugar cubes. Sugar cubes can be used and burned to get NFT equipment and NFT goodies. So one of the things that you want to do is your achievements and your missions. As you can see right here, we got daily, weekly, monthly missions, and we also got achievements. So right here, we got achievement unlocks after the NFT horse participates in a thousand races in total. So as you can see right here, the main way to collect sugar cues is by accomplishing daily, weekly, monthly missions and by unlocking achievement. The more difficult the task, the sweeter the reward. Sugar cubes is fundamental in games reward unit, which is easily exchangeable into NFT utility such as nft chests and keys of various tiers now, inside this chest that you get with the sugar cubes you're going to find nft equipments that you can equip on your horses as you can see i don't have any equipment as of right now but this will increase your stats in different ways the higher the level of the horse the more items with different stats nft horses can be equipped with now the last two things we're going to talk about is jockey jockey is a completely new in-game nft asset which will be shortly introduced into the race metaverse as a companion of the nft horses jockeys are important to game elements as through the jockey and nft horse of symbiosis the player can reach even better performance on the racetrack so if we go right here you can see if we go to bonding it says unfortunately this horse hasn't bonded with any jockey jockeys yet so this is going to be very important to the game to have a jockey and bond it with your horses the other thing is the stadium so you can have a stadium and other jockeys can race on your stadium and you can earn some passive rewards in d race for people using your stadium to race so you can host races which is really really cool anyways guys i'm gonna leave you guys with the d race wiki but you guys get the full understanding of this game if you guys really want to deep dive into this game it has everything you need right here in this website. Now, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to leave the link for their Discord down below so you guys can ask any questions you guys might have. But make sure you also read that wiki because it has absolutely everything you need to understand this game to the fullest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe to the number one Web3 gaming site in the world.